Alright, so in this video we're going to go over what's going on in all of these files in your Crew AI project. Now, if you've been following along since video 1, you know we got started from scratch, no coding experience, we were able to get you set up with all the tools you needed, even if you had never programmed before. So if that's you, you're a beginner, you want to learn how to use AI, but you don't want to bother going back to school, you don't want to stress about having to learn to program, having to learn to take AI classes, please go watch video one. We help you right from the start, setting up your coding editor. And like you see at this point, if you've been following along, then you pretty much know, you know, you got your code working and now we're gonna go a little more in depth into how Crew AI work. Now, I've seen a lot of tutorials. I do see that they kind of explain to the users how the code more or less works, but I do feel like it's a little vague. So I do want you to make sure that you understand how it is that this program is interacting with all the files involved before, just so you can get a little more understanding to what is going on in the background. So we're gonna go into that. And again, I didn't want you to get overwhelmed by me just expecting that you can read this syntax, expecting that expecting you've read other programs before or other coding languages. So the example we're gonna go over is actually just gonna be, you know, very straightforward. I made a graph here just because I exp I'm explaining this in a way that I wish coding had been taught to me. I was in interested in coding since a long time ago, but I feel that there was a lot of times where I just felt overwhelmed. And you know, the point here is that you understand the tool that you're using, even if you don't have a technical background. So let's get to it. So first thing we see here, this is just a screenshot of ChatGPT, which I'm sure you've used by now. And basically the way we've been using ChatGPT is we define our agent role. So that's when you say, you know, you're a, you know, you're an expert workout trainer with 30 years experience, give me the best workout, right? So when you tell ChatGPT what it is they're good at, an expert in teaching, an expert in working out, an expert in music, and then when you tell it what to do, give me the top 10 recipes, give me the top 10, you know, mental health advice, that kind of stuff, that's your test details. So after you do that, ChatGPT does its thing and it gives you the results, right? Now I'm sure you realize by now, Every time you start a chat, you kind of have to stick with that topic for the most part. If you want to get a different kind of answer, a different kind of expertise level for a different topic, you kind of have to start a new chat. And again, that's kind of where ChatGPT falls short. While it can be very good at giving you responses on a certain set of things, they more or less have to be around that topic. So how does this compare to how Crew AI works? Well, that's what we're going to go over here, right? So again, the main thing that was going on here, just to reiterate, you gave ChatGPT the role, you're an expert in XYZ. So I want you to do, you know, XYZ. You give it the role, you defined the agent role, you gave it task details, and then it gave you a result. Now, if you ran the program we had here before, you might have noticed that it asks you to enter variable one, and maybe you put something generic like football, and then enter variable two, and then maybe you put something like clothing again i know the last video didn't want i didn't go into it but the last the focus of the last video had nothing to do with actually understanding the code then you press entered and then you know crew ai did its thing and it gave you a result based on somewhat related to what you asked it right or somewhat related to what you typed in so what was going on all along that's what we're going to get into right now so in Crea, I asked you for variable one, all variable one was really uh, task details. So again, the way you would have put it in ChatGPT about what you wanted it to do, that was the first thing that Crea is asking you for. Now for this project we had, it asked you for two task details. So here I misspelled it, correct that. It asked you for variable one, variable two. So these were each just task details. And again, depending on what you wanted to talk about, that's where you would uh, define it. So once you gave it the variables, which ended up being just your test details, then what Crea does is it creates your custom crew. Now for this particular program, your custom crew is made up, made up of agent one and agent two. Within Crea, you can predefine what these agents are gonna do, right? And the way that Crea expects you to fill this out, it expects a role, which is really just a job title of your agent. So again, if you wanted it to be a personal trainer, you would just put professional trainer, a backstory. So in the area of where you put the backstory, it's more or less like it's resume, right? What are their qualifications? What are they good at? What experience do they have? So again, that's why I put resume. And then the goal. What is the end goal of this agent? Yes, they have this title and they have this backstory or resume, but what is it that you want them to do at the end of the day? So after you've created your custom crew, 
it's then gonna make it do its first task. So in order to perform its first task, which you also define in the program, it's gonna take your agent one, which again, your agent one has its own role, it has its own expertise, and then takes the details you entered, so both details one and task details two. So from this part, you get your first result. Now, what happens in this particular example that we have, this template that we download and install, it's then gonna take those results, it's gonna give it to your second agent, let me correct that here. It's going to give it to your second agent and it's going to perform the second test, which also the second test you want to do, you're also going to write out in your crew agent program. From here, after processing it, then you're going to get your final results. So just to reiterate again, whenever you run your program, you first give it your two test details. From there, it's going to generate a crew from the agents that you will define. And just to show you in the code here, if you go to your agents.py file, here you see these labels, you see role, like we talked about, backstory and goal. Again, this is where you can change the text to whatever you want it to be. And again, after creating a custom crew, it then proceeds to starting your first task, which requires your agent want, and both the details you entered gives you a result. And then your task two, which again, you also define your task in your task.py. Wherever you see this brown text is where you enter the details of how you want your task to act. And then from here on out, you get your final result. And again, one of the cool things about Crew AI is that you can have as many custom agents as you want. Again, that's where the crew board comes in. And it, you can also define your tasks with as much detail as you want. So rather than having to retype your prompts like you have to over and over again in ChatGPT with Create AI, you can create that framework, that structure of a project that's going to give you very in-depth, very highly analyzed answers. And it's going to allow you to use AI technology to its full potential. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. Leave in the comment below what it is that you might have questions about, what it is that maybe you're having trouble with in this project. I'll be more than happy to reply. And if we need to jump on a Zoom call or a Discord call, I'm more than happy to help out. I hope you're getting excited about this project because in the next video, we're going to start creating customized crews to show you the real power of Crew AI. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.